I'm up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I got a 1964 Impala. It's a four speed with a date code correct 327 for a motor. You wanna do a little walk around, point out any kind of flaws? I just got back from a test drive. So if you don't mind, check that out. If this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe. I post videos every single day. I'm just gonna walk around, point out any kind of flaws that I can find. That way you know exactly what you're getting when you get here. And if you don't mind, check out my website, maplemotors.com. I got about 60 cars in inventory at all times. And we update every Monday with 10 new cars. start up here in the front see there's a lot of little bug spots but the bumper itself is in great condition looks fairly new like it's been replaced a lot of the grill and the trim is in great condition as well see there is a few spots in between right here nothing major The paint job in this car is not too bad. A lot of this trim running down the side of the car has been replaced as well. Wheels and tires, pretty good condition. Looks like they've replaced most of this trim. Even around the windows. Door handles. Mirrors have been replaced. So that roof's in good condition. The paint's pretty nice on this car. So you've got the little skirts for the wheel wells. There's a little imperfections back here. You can see where they've done a little bit of work. Rear bumper's definitely been replaced. I don't know about this piece. This piece, I don't think it has been replaced. Trim around the tail lights is in good shape. All of this looks like they tried to replace it. Somebody did a good job on this one. I love the lines on these 64s. Looking down in here, it's the same spot. Looks about the same condition. Both of those corners. Can't say much about it when it's all already all, all already been replaced and new. Looks good. Just checking the bottoms of the doors, making sure we ain't got no bubbling going on. The lines are lining up nice. It's a pretty nice car. Let's go ahead and pop this hood. There we go. Yeah, I ran the numbers on the back. Is date code correct? 64, 327. Engine bay is nice and clean. It's got power steering on it. The brakes are nice and solid. Still got your insulation under your hood. Hood's nice and clean as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the trunk and make our way back there. 
and then we'll start on this interior so the brake does work i got the brake engaged right now it's holding the car uh, let's see if it's the ignition key it is the ignition key One thing that I do on these videos, guys, if you didn't know already, I look at the car with you. I don't look at it prior. I may wash it, but when I start checking it over like this, I do this with y'all. We have a spare tire in here, jack, extra hubcap. Let's look up under this, make sure there ain't no water in here. There is definitely water, and that is so old, it exploded in my hand. All right. A little bit of water getting in here. Let me look around this. The weather stripping looks new too. It could be coming from a back window, with, but with it being right there, I'm not 100% sure where it's getting in at. Maybe around that antenna. You can see the rubber around it's a little bit worn. That's probably where it's coming in at. Let's look under this. This mat just needs to be replaced. It's so old, it's just breaking in half. Pretty solid trunk. All right. Let's go ahead and make our way to the interior now. Get a little weather stripping around the doors. It's in good condition as well. That door panel is not too bad. Might take a little bit of uh, dye and re-dye that. You can see where it's kind of faded in spots. But it's in such good condition, you could almost bring that whole thing back instead of ordering a new one. Even the fabric's not bad. It's just faded. I'm liking the red mats. It gives it a good accent. Looking around on the inside here, um, headliner's in great condition. It's pretty sweet. Back seat looks good. Panels look good. All of them have a little bit of, looks like where the dye's kind of coming out. Maybe they've cleaned it so much, they started rubbing the black off. So we got our seat belt down there in the floor carpet's not in bad shape still looks pretty good our seats are in good shape they're not all tore up looking around in the car here headliner's great visor's showing a little bit of wear right there they probably had some stuff hanging from it we'll go ahead and jump in here look at the dash the dash isn't all tore up it's in good shape And this thing runs and drives good. If y'all haven't checked out my test drive video, you gotta check it out. The RPM gauge is coming up, our speedometer was working, our gas gauge is bouncing around, so I don't know if it's 100% correct. Uh, we just got back from a test drive, it's showing 170 on the tent, about 35 on the oil pressure. brake lights on because of this brake but it does work so if we can get the rpms to kick down the wipers do work so does the horn horn works nice and easy so does the radio we'll go ahead and jump out here i'm gonna put the brake back on that way it don't just roll away from me. I did notice a few little puffs when I was driving. It doesn't constantly smoke, but it did on the test drive for a moment. It is an older motor. Pretty quiet. All 
right, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any other questions, please jump on my website, maplemotors.com. I got 100 detailed pictures of this car and every car on the lot. You can give us a call, 615-822-4444. If you have any other questions, you can comment below. I'll try to get back with you. I appreciate y'all watching. Please subscribe. I post videos like this every day. Y'all have a good one.